Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Just got back from the mailbox and I've taken the shipping label off, but uh, being this time of month, some of you may know what this is. It's the, uh, I think it's the uh, man can I ordered in September. I guess it's for October. I always get a little confused about that. Let's get into it here. Thought I'd do a quick unboxing. Uh, put the baby down for a nap. Thought I'd come out to the garage, have a cigar, and open this up. Okay. Let's see what we got. I have a little bit of an idea of what is in here, but it's uh, still a little bit of a surprise. Let's see what we got. Okay, here we go. All right, first off, got another uh, fight soap to add to the collection here. As you can see, uh, big fan of this stuff. Let's see what this one smells like. Well, that's got uh, kind of a citrusy lemon sort of scent there. It's very good. Uh, if you see on the label there, it's got uh, the IV 88, 88 logo, EDC 2015. And that is the theme of this month's man can. It's the EDC month. And it's got kind of a Damascus design in the background there. And I've, I, was, I've, I will admit I watched Eric's video where he uh, did a spoiler on this and checked out this knife here. And so I've heard some people say they don't think these man cans are a good value. But I got the Smoky Mountain Knife Works catalog in the mail the other day. And this knife here is Kershaw. It is a Chinese made knife. Still good quality nonetheless. Got the uh, Duck Commander logo on it there. It has an assisted opening knife. Got the uh, flipper on the back. But this knife in their catalog goes for $19.99. So, I mean, just that right there is 20 bucks. And then, you know, these usually run 8 to $10, I believe, on their website. Now, I don't have my keys on me, but from AR15 month, uh, I think that was in January of this year, they did the man can for that. They did the uh, Mall Ninja AR in one of these. Um, I forget the name of this company. Something Steel Works. Um, but that's pretty cool. I keep keep the AR one on my keychain at all times. It's come in handy on occasion. Um, I like the ruggedness of this one. It's not polished up and finished you can still see machining marks and it, it, it just adds to the uh, cool factor of it I believe okay let's see what we got here it's a challenge coin what's in your pocket pocket dump that's pretty cool I believe these are made uh, yeah bastion uh, they included another coin in a previous, I believe it the July Man Can is Patriotism Month. And I almost ordered one of these. I believe this is also from Bastion. I almost ordered one of these the other day. That was a, This is a little surprise here. They got the logo embossed on it there. But it's uh, like a minimalist wallet. Got a little pocket in the back here. Two in the front. Take a couple cards, your ID, carry permit, a little bit of cash with you. There's something slim, easy to carry, lightweight. Uh, if you're like me, most of the time I carry a full-size wallet, but there are times when we go out, you know, I've already got my gun, a knife, flashlight, extra magazine. The last thing I need is, you know, a big wallet with a bunch of unnecessary junk in it. So I have something similar to this, but a little classier, I guess you could say. It's a nice leather wallet I think it's made by Fossil uh, yeah I'll definitely be carrying this glad I didn't order one of these because I got one in my main can and another patch here I'm gonna go ahead and tear into this I need to get myself a patch panel because I'm getting a pretty good collection of patches here now from man cans and everything else a good view of the logo there 
Uh, this one I may just go ahead and put on my range bag. That's that's pretty cool. We've got the, uh, of course, the Iraq Veteran 88, 88 logo there. And silhouette of a gun, Swiss Army knife, and another fixed blade knife. That one's pretty cool. And stickers. This is one of my favorite things about the man cans. I love stickers. Um, I may pan over to my refrigerator here in the garage here in just a minute and show you all my stickers on it. Uh, got one here, Blue Lives Matter. Come and take it. Got the cannon and the star. And here's a uh, something I've been meaning to order. I don't want to flash the coupon code there. But this is from Nine Line Tactical. 15% off one of their minimalist wallets. I think they are aluminum, carbon fiber kind of deal. But uh, these these intrigued me as well. I'm not sure about the weight on those, but I'll, I'll probably be ordering one of those eventually. And another awesome IV8888 logo stickers, classic sticker with the Mosin. Can't have enough of these. And the special edition for October, the Cancer Sucks logo. So yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really satisfied with these man cans they're doing. I've ordered every one so far this year except for February, the Love Your Gun month. I don't know why, I just didn't order one of those. Uh, I kind of regret it now, but I've ordered every one since then. They've all been great, had good stuff in them. And uh, they all represent a very good value for what you pay. I mean, it's $30 and then $8.50 shipping. And like I said, just this knife alone here is a good Kershaw knife, good texture on it. Just that knife alone would cost you $20, $25. So, I mean, you can't beat that. Plus, you get a custom fight soap, limited edition. They only make you know enough of these for the man cans. And you know, if you're not into the fight soap, you can sell these on eBay for fifteen or twenty dollars. So yeah, that's it. Um, we'll pan over here to the fridge and show you my stickers. And uh, thank you for watching. All right, guys. As promised, here are the stickers on my fridge. And this is the fridge I keep in the garage you know nothing special in it I just got several uh, IV 8888 stickers on here and this one here in particular is really cool Sir Arthur High Point you guys remember Barry and Grateful Dead sticker here Magpul Glock and this Glock sticker was given to me by this guy right here, Junk Food Zombie. If you haven't seen his channel, check it out. Got some tactical bacon. You gotta have an NRA sticker. I send those in the mail. And this here is one of my favorite ones. It's from the Wheels Through Time Museum in Maggie Valley, North Carolina. If you're ever in the area, definitely check it out. It's well worth a visit. And it's right next to the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, of course. And what would a beer fridge be without some Heisenberg stickers? And great, another Grateful Dead sticker, Wheaton Arms. They do good work. Uh, he's uh, good buddies with Such. So that's it.